started Loveland City Schools as a kindergartner here, and I graduated high school here. I worked at the Loveland Dairy Whip when I was a teenager. My children were raised here. Both of my daughters graduated Loveland Schools, and they also worked at the Loveland Dairy Whip. We had some of the same teachers. My family moved here when I was two years old. My parents were well-respected members of this community. I have fond memories of riding my bike at Tomahawk Trail, walking to the Amity Five and Dime where I could get a paper bag full of candy for a dollar, and walking to school by cutting across the Undercoffer Farm. The home where I live now sits on the Undercoffer property. My dad was a volunteer firefighter. My siblings and I had many nights where we were awakened by dad's plectron, a word not many in this room will probably understand what it means. We would rush to the window where we would cheer dad on as him and his siren would rush down the street to fight a blaze. My dad was ceremoniously honored by the Loveland firefighters when he passed away in 2008. On September 4th, eight days ago, I completed a speech that I intended to present before city council and my fellow residents. As I practiced my presentation, it was running long. I really didn't want to cut it short, so I requested to speak during the person's appearing before council section of the meeting. A time slot that would have allowed me 10 minutes to speak instead of the five by open forum. In the decades I have been part of this community, that's the first time I have ever requested to speak at that time slot. What happened next surprised me. I received a reply that Vice Mayor Angie Sattel denied my request to speak before council and suggested I consider speaking at open forum instead. It seems I don't have much choice because I was omitted from the agenda when it was published this past Friday. I would like to read Rule 19 of council. It says, and I quote, any person, group, or delegation wishing to be placed on the agenda to appear before council shall direct a letter to the clerk of council so it is received by the clerk no later than noon on the Thursday preceding the regularly scheduled Tuesday council meeting. That's it, there are no other requirements. I just had to ask by Thursday at noon. I asked on Monday, nearly three full days prior to the deadline, and I saw nothing in council rules that gave the vice mayor a reason to deny my request. You've heard my history, and my motives behind this community should be obvious. I am not an outsider, nor am I influenced by outside forces. I am a resident. I was not only raised by Bill and Joanne Hamlin, but by the love of Heights. This town enriches me, and everything that happens here is part of my fabric. So I would like to ask this question. Why is it that a local business owner is permitted to speak during persons before council, but I, a resident, am not. Tim Canada has appeared on the agenda during the 10-minute time slot four times since the beginning of the year. August 22nd, July 11th, February 14th, and January 24th. This person does not file an individual City of Loveland tax return, as I do. He leaves work at the end of the day, he leaves our community, and he goes home somewhere else. He does not vote in this town as I do. He did not help to elect you as I did. So I will ask my question again, and I would like to remain at the podium to see if anyone in council would be willing to answer me. Why is it that a local business owner is permitted to speak during persons before council, but a resident is not? You know my motive. I'm questioning what is his. And why is he being given preferential treatment at City Council? Shall I sit down or would anyone like to answer my question? I'll answer up to you. I just want to go on the record to say I can't answer your question. So if I could, I would, but I can't, so I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I just uh, when your request came in, I believe it said observations regarding public records requests, which um, seemed to me as a citizen with an issue that wanted to speak before council. That's why I prefer to speak at open forum, because 
I believe that is a citizen issue. Um, the other times, um, I think the um, uh, persons appearing before council, um, you know, when I look at that, when I look at the rules of council, um, it's very, it is kind of vague, and I think it is a judgment call on who comes. Now, the times that he has done it before, I have not had. You know, earlier in the year, I was not making those decisions as to who spoke and you can use that uh, open form. But I would look at um, persons appearing as someone appearing with a community issue, uh, representing maybe other, um, I think he spoke on um, uh, uh, direct election of mayor and term limits, which appeared to be a very um, viable community um, issue because a lot of people were talking about it. We had several people come in and speak about it. I think persons appearing before council should be things like uh, we had Denise Drip house here one time talking about the community as a whole um, we have celebrations you know we had um, police we have police department that comes we have fire department that comes so I think there is a distinction that's my distinction um, and um, that's that's my distinct that's the distinction so and I don't think it has anything to do I don't I don't check who's the resident who isn't I just get the request and I think, you know, in the future, you want to speak and we have community issues, feel free to do that. Okay, thank you.